Mela, what are your expectations for FEU and Ateneo? We both know na pag second round na ng UAAP, mas importante mag-peak ng tama. So, what are your personal expectations? And even sa Larzon, you know, na alam naman mga kalaban nila, you should be the one na tatapatan ng blockers. But those delays, we credit it to the setters as well. Speaking of delays, kuwang-kuwa <laughs> ni Kakao yung middle blocker ng Ateneo. Big performance against De La Salle. There were three players in double digits. Right, especially against UP. 61 e excellent uh, receptions and 44 digs. So, uh, kaya naman yung mga puntas nito nila sa Larzon at nila batas malalaki. But, uh, magiging crucial dito dahil we talked about where the points are coming from from FEU. And daming pinanggagaling. Meanwhile, for uh, Ateneo, it's uh, heavily reliant on uh, batas and sa Larzon. So, tignan natin if the likes of Gopio will also pull off numbers. A three-point lead here and a full front lineup. But that's this time with a drop ball. These uh, drop shots from Batas, but he knows it was a it was a basic play. The the blockers were established. Gian Salorzon is still the target of the servers. This time it's Pasinho from the backcourt. It was a high ball coming off the rebound of FEU, but nobody was home. There, sabi mo nga yung kanilang uh, paipatak magiging uh, trademark na for them. But... So, walang setter at this point. I believe this would be a blocking substitution. Since wala nang setter, sino yung ma-assign to take that second ball? Well, good thing De Castro is on the floor and... Uh, ooh. But uh, that time, Saavedra not allowing this. Their opposite hitter, I believe. Loose ball for FEU. Easy pickings for De Castro. Licaco will set it up for Pasinho. And he gets it to go. So, kailangan din yung supportahan si Gian in uh, that aspect. Excellent pass from Celajes. Nadera will try again, but De Castro. We'll pop it up. Pasinho again. This time gets blocked by the defense of FEU. But this time it has done a lot of contributions for their team, especially against Pasinho. I believe uh, two block points were against him. And that was the way they ended set number one. And uh, very uncharacteristic of them to have, uh, you know, those miscommunications. And just look at that. Talking about body language, no attempt. And he has been using their serves as an offensive weapon. It's been working well for them, especially here in the second set. So that point will officially go to FEU. Ulabnan will choose Salarzon. Celajes will pop it up for Habilon on left side. And Ateneo will get a kill block. That will be their first kill block. To see the energy of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. So it's really more eager here in this set. Look at that. Really uh, blocking and guarding. Bilis nung wrist action uh, in transition for Delicana. Salarzon from the back row. That is uh, inside. And Olivero on the floor. Get to that uh, pipe hit of Salarzon. Look at that. Angling it well. Targeting the sideline. Ian Salarzon as expected. An all-around game for him. Meron na siyang block. Meron na siyang ace. Napakarami niya ng atake. Six points already for this guy. So makikita mo talaga yung uh, battle of the middles then. Because look for Ateneo to uh, match the outings of Bugawan. And now he has actually um, uh, over uh, overtake. How? By engaging uh, Jet Gopio in that last rally. Then now has a five-point lead. Oh, there will be a net violation called on uh, Gian Salarzon. They're closer to the 25-point mark, but they have to get one stop. Pasinho will go for that drop shot. And, uh, he also got a lot of the leadership of uh, Lance De Castro. Someone could even make a compilation. <laughs> there is a new player on the floor for FEU. It's Jellard Talisayan. Another. So they will try to score more here in the, here in the tail end of set number two. Kakao will go to a combination play. 
And this time, <laughs> sila naman yung uh, magdi-dish out ng... That's when they're up there. <laughs> Another drop shot. And it's been working well for the Ateneo. You know that the, the players, they're really thinking players. Hindi lang palo ng palo. They find the opening on the defense. And uh, that gives them a set win against FEU. Then yung malalakas pumalo. Because now, mas advantage na na may magaling kang setter. And in our case right now, we're watching two very talented setters in Mga Labnan and Kakao. So, the technical side of it, maganda yung ginagalaw ng Ateneo in uh, passing and uh, offense. Pero yung body language din. To uh, FEU. Kailangan, kailangan talaga mag-effort sila sa kanilang serving and blocking. Kasi naman, offensive weapons nyo. But Pasino just powering through with that uh, last hit. That is still a good sign for FEU, I would say. They were able to set up that three-man block. Ibig sabihin, nababasa nila uh, kung saan pupunta yung... Uh, kudos to the coaches for knowing when to challenge. Combination play doesn't work for FEU. Out of system there. Salarzon will pop it up for Pasino. FEU will have another chance to attack. Hevelona goes off the block. And uh, Lance De Castro couldn't get to it. Try to you know, pull off a momentum against Ateneo. Another loose ball for FEU. Havilona will put a stop. And it opened the doors for Gian Salarzon. Ooh, another ace for the Blue Eagles. Drop ball doesn't work. Benny Martinez will go to Saavedra. Ken Batas will get blocked. Now the bench player, this time a five-point lead. That is the pass that we've been looking for. Salarzona so was there for the dig, but... They need a lot of efforts from their side to you know, equalize this set number three against Ateneo. High drop ball from Salarzon, easily picked up by FEU. And uh, JJ Havilona will get some help from the tape of the net. Talisayan has been doing throughout the season. And for a middle blocker to be the number one spiker and the, one of the top scorers of uh, the team, it shows a lot. But uh, right now, ganda ng galawa nitong Ateneo. Look at the body language. But, uh, no, I think the key also for Ateneo is the reception. 31 excellent receptions already for Ateneo. 20 for FU, and that is why when it comes to offense, Alisa hindi naka-defensa sa likod dahil may tumama din sa blockers. So sometimes it's harder for the floor defenders dahil yung bola nawawala dun sa position where it's anticipated to go because of those block touches. Speaking about uh, block touches, that was a judgment call of FEU. Chan Mangulabnan already has 15 excellent sets in this ball game. Same play for Benny Martinez and Saavedra. Ateneo will keep that ball alive but will be forced to give a free one to the Tamaraus. They go for that double quick play. Batas will attack from the right side and... So, nakakuha din siya ng block touch doon to deflate the ball at naka-counter sila nila Batas. Sino will try to close it out for Ateneo. Batas will also try, no go. Martinez will go to the left side. Havilona with a drop ball. You know, those outputs, same as... Uh, the veterans, but uh, this time, yung tip shots working well for, F for FEU also. Naginagawa yun sa kanila all afternoon. The second round, because wala na tayong do-overs right now. Talagang one win or one loss will dictate your future. To really bring out those offensive weapons, yung mga plays na kinatago-tago pa nila, dahil Ateneo has really done a good job reading them, and on point sa Larzon scoring off a solid single Block. Gopi actually went there, but he did not uh, go for the jump. Faster reaction time we're seeing on the side of FEU. Ooh, uh, 
Martin Mugawan with an ad lib. Compared to the upper rank team, so mas maganda yung ginagalaw. And yung crucial dyan is baka mamaya sa elims, ang ganda na pinakita mo. Yeah. Because yeah. the most crucial. Right now, the current uh, uh, top four is NU, FEU, LaSalle, and USD in that order. And uh, if ever na NU and USD magaharap as one in four. Kanina nagkaroon ng puntos yung Ateneo prior that point, but it was because of a crossing violation. By prior that, we also saw Delicana above the blockers. What a talent. An athleticism by uh, better performance for Lyric Mendoza. They need all the support that they can get also on the side of FEU to ease off the pressure of the shoulders of Drix Avedra. But every time they commit that service error, mas tumataas yung kumpiansa ng FEU Tamaraus. Senior will push that ball. Ooh. Confusion on the side of Ateneo. Kakao will set up Bukawa now in the middle. See what they're doing right now over them. Good rebound from FPU. Another <laughs> quick attack for Martin Bugawa. Don't look now. This is the strongest rotation for FEU. They have Bugawan, Saavedra, <laughs> and Delicana. Consistent yun ang talo. Kung sino ang consistent yeah. yun ang panalo. And so far, the ratings are going for FEU. They look very consistent. But Pasino, they tried to break that consistency. Up. He had that uh, pass. Patras yung, yung uh, motion niya. Ooh. Five point deficit here in the tail end of set number four. FEU looking good. Uh, FEU, but Ateneo also has a full front lineup. Let's see if they get to convert. And Salvedra with a solid block point. Yet another five setter match. Neil, you called it earlier. Atame <laughs> ng uh, five setter matches. Juice and the uh, lack of first action in that last attempt. You can hear the voice of concern uh, dito kay Coach Timmy Santo Tomas because the three points of FEU have come off the unforced errors of Ateneo. So Avedra will... Uh, in that set when it comes to blockings. Nakulan uh, will go for that jump serve. Havelona will punch it through. <laughs> and Havelona... In the final four. Topio will score a quick one. Really proved his uh, worth for Ateneo and uh, made Bugawan have a run for his money here. Just look at that. Back to back touches. De Castro saving it. So Elizondo challenge the defense of the Libero in Bryce de Guzman. It's five serving six. Loose ball for FEU. Havelona will go off the hands of the blockers. Goes to that uh, jump serve. Salarzon. But now that he's in the back row, they're, they're going to need more productions from the front row spikers. Havelona continuing to explode for FEU. He really is the silent operator for the yellow shirts. Salarzon will attack from the back row. Palitan lang tayo ngayon, attack after attack. Right now, Ateneo only has two options in the front line. It's Pasino and Dakulan. <laughs> in the front line. Oh, in the front line. Pero meron pa pala dalawa sa likuran. Salarzon, kapag Bugawan. Meron ka pang sa Avedra on the left side. Right on cue, Martin Bugawan. As they are now at match point, 14 to 11. Salarzon will get blocked. Tene will have another chance. Okeke, this time from the right. Still checked by the defenders of FEU. Salarzon blocked again. De Castro will push it to the right pin. A drop ball will force. FEU to commit that net infraction. Almadro will go for that float serve. 
That is inside. Ooh! And Martin Bogawan will get the win for the FEU Tamaraos.